All right, two, black is here. Check this out. Restore designs. Restore design. That is this guy's name, okay? I ran across his channel, and he was talking about bore, boring, when he was talking about boring out a throttle body, I think it was for a Volkswagen. And he was showing people, this is how you increase horsepower on a Volkswagen. And I'm thinking to myself, oh boy, here we go. You know I have to say something. You know I've got to put my two cents in it, okay? All right, so of course I said that, you know, bowing out your throttle body is not going to increase horsepower. If you want to increase horsepower, you're going to have to put hotter cams. And I think I gave him the, um, of course he said that, you know, there's dyno videos showing that if you increase the size of the throttle body, you will get more horsepower because more air is allowed to flow through the throttle body. Now guys, I've said in many videos on many cars, the throttle body will not increase horsepower because the throttle body is not the limiting Factor. It does not matter where, the, you know, he, he tried to keep me on four cylinders. I mentioned something about the F-150 and he tried, oh, oh Volkswagen, we're talking about Volkswagens. Okay. I go back to Volkswagen, but the next comment, he brings up Honda. He won't talk, oh, the Honda guys, they increase horsepower by changing the air filter. Speaking of air filters, I have a, I have a video coming. I haven't made it yet because I don't have the air filter. I have two of the air filters, but I don't have the third air filter. I'm not going to tell you about the video. I'm just going to say it's about three air filters. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I want to tell you so bad because I was thinking about this in the shower uh, two days ago. And I was like, oh, man, I got I ordered one of the filters I need. I have two of them, but I need this third filter because I don't feel like taking it out of the the uh, vehicle that is in it's not it's not it's not an easy air filter to, re to remove well anyway get back to this he brings up honda he talk about you know honda guys believe in air filters okay so oh at the end of this sentence he says in your world you think a cam increased horsepower and it does not help airflow in and out of an engine i'm thinking what idiot would say some dumb stuff like that i mean when you whenever you hear somebody say you know i i, I will put a cam in but a cam is not going to increase the horsepower because you gotta uh you gotta pour and polish the head if you ever hear somebody say some dumb stuff like that they don't know and, and, you know the thing is People ask me all the time, you know, Black, what makes you, you know, what makes you have all the answers and everybody online is stupid? If you don't think a cam will increase horsepower, you are stupid, okay? I can't, I can't say it no other way. But then I left a comment. You want, now he, remember he told me to stay on Volkswagens, right? He wanted to talk about Volkswagen, stay on Volkswagen but he brings up Honda. Okay, so now you brings up Honda. Let's talk about Honda. Let's go back a little bit. You remember the first car that came out with VTEC? I don't remember which one. I don't remember, was it the, was it the uh, NSX or was it the Honda Civic? But whatever Honda that came out with VTEC first, what is VTEC? Okay, VTEC is when they take a cam that has three lobes. Two outside lobes are low lift, short duration. Okay, they're good for low speed. Then the lobe in the center is a larger lobe, longer duration. So at a certain point when VTEC kicks in, it normally rides on the two outer lobe for low speed. And then when it gets to a certain speed, it switches over to that high lift, high, longer duration. What is it? Cam lobe. So basically, VTEC is when you switch from low speed, 
low lift, low duration cam, and then you switch to high lift, long duration cam. So a VTEC is simply two different cams on the same shaft. It's two, listen to a word, two different cams on the same shaft. So basically, Honda runs a low speed cam at low speed and then at a certain speed, it switches over to high speed. So if cams don't make a freaking difference, why the hell do Honda use two different cam loads if they don't make a difference? Now people go, oh God, oh, 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 oh. Break, please explain to me how am I wrong if Honda used two different cam loads? Well, uh, 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 my, you know what? So, in the place of the hunt, I mean, in the place of the Volkswagen, the 2004 Golf I have, okay? If you, the engine makes 115 horsepower at 5,200 RPM. How do you get it to make 150 horsepower? You don't change the throttle bite. You don't change the air fields. You don't put headers. You don't put dual exhaust. You put a freaking cam in the motor. You put a cam in the motor, you will get 150 or hell even more than that, depending on how big the cam is. How much do I think easily run 150 horsepower out of that engine without doing anything else? Now you get some people who say, well no black, see to make 150 horsepower, you're gonna have to spin the engine really, really fast. No you won't, no you won't. What was it? Um, Neon had 150 horsepower. Neon, two point, no, that was 2.4. No, was it 2.4? No, they had a two liter with 150 horsepower. I think they did. Let me check. Okay, guys, I was right. It was, I don't remember what year it was. I, I just looked it up. I put in, let me tell you how to find it. Put in Neon RT, uh, horsepower, I think. But Neon RT. Come down to road and track. It talked about it used a two liter single overhead cam. It didn't say whether it was a eight valve or 16 valve. It was probably a 16 valve, but it was a two liter and it did make 150 horsepower. I think it's 6,500 RPM. So it's, it's, really not spinning that fast, you know, to be honest with you. But if it's 150 horsepower, and I think it was 100, and, I think it was 130, 30 something pound feet of torque. But the point I'm making, if that Neon can make 150 horsepower from a two liter, a Volkswagen can make 150 horsepower from a two liter. Oh, guess what else Road and Track said? Y'all gonna love it. Well, I'm gonna love this part. Now, it says they use a hotter cam. What they use? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it said they use tune headers. Uh, it used something about a dual plane intake. But the main reason is the hotter cam. Because I'm telling you, you put the headers and the dual plane intake on a base. 100 and what is it, 32 horsepower, two liter neon, it's not gonna make 150, okay? I guarantee you, it'll get closer if you just change the cam than it would be if you put the intake and the tune headers. Oh yeah, the dual exhaust also. But the point I'm making is this. Guys, if you want more horsepower, if you want more horsepower, it doesn't matter whether it's single overhead cam, dual overhead cam, four sudden V6, V8, V12. The only difference to rotary, rotary don't have valves, but all piston engines, even diesels, even diesels, if you want more horsepower, you have to install a hotter cam. Now, somebody's gonna question me about the diesel. What diesel are you talking about? I'm talking about any diesel. If you go to banks, now y'all love Banks. Go to Banks' channel, and he talks about putting a cam <clears throat> in Duramax. Okay, mostly he's running more a lot of boost, but you can get more horsepower from at least from a diesel by installing the cam. 
the, the some of the drag racing diesels that's turning four thousand RPM, those are not stock engines. They have aftermarket cams to turn four thousand RPM. But here's a good example. Take a 1989 Ford 7.3. In the F-150s, they made about 180 horsepower at 3,300 RPM. Okay, I, I remember that. You, where you gonna get the cam from, I can't tell you, but just say if you went out, you could probably buy a cam and put in that engine and it will probably make, depending on the size of the cam, it could make 200, 210 horsepower. It's probably gonna smoke a little bit, but it's going to make the horsepower. Can I mean, people? You know, people ask me all the time, "Why you always talk about can? Why you always talk about can?" Because that's where the power is. Then you ask, "Well, black, why don't other people talk about can?" People do. People who know how to make horsepower. But see, a lot of you guys, you spend your time watching those videos, but people don't know what the hell they're talking about. They just know about coal air intake. Uh, throttle body spaces. That's bull crap is what it is. It's bull crap. People who want to sell you stuff you don't need. See, the thing is this. You can't take, you can't, it's against the law for me to take the stock cam out of that golf and put an aftermarket cam. Cam companies don't want to advertise that so because technically, it's not necessarily against the law to advertise it. It's against the law to do it. So they don't want to advertise something that's going to get you to break the law. But when you do stuff like change the throttle body, throttle body spaces, co-air intake, bull stuff like that, won't break the law. It does not affect the mission because it does not affect the engine. Okay? So that's the reason why it's legal to sell that stuff. But anyway, I'm done with this video. Have any questions, comments, leave them. Check it out now. Google it. Neon RT. It has a hotter cam. I'm done.